In this video, we'll talk about dealing with procrastination. Procrastination and laziness are not the same. However, it is common for people to often confuse the two terms. When you sometimes procrastinate, it doesn't mean that you are lazy. When you are lazy, it means you are displaying attitudes such as unwillingness to act, apathy, and just wanting to remain inactive. On the other hand, when someone procrastinates, it means such person is choosing to do something else instead of the task at hand. Procrastination in most cases usually comes when you are trying to avoid work you don't find enjoyable but important. When you procrastinate, you are exposed to the risk of not achieving your goals because it will lead to low or no productivity. For instance, you can feel ashamed by the slight occurrences of procrastination, which can potentially bring about some consequences you won't like. In some instances, you can be delusioned by work, which can make you depressed and even lose your job. If you have been notorious for procrastinating over a long time, people are more likely to put off an unpleasant task when they see it. In recent research, it was established that the inability to manage stress can lead to procrastination. Also in psychology, it was established that people who procrastinate have a faulty sense of time. This means that such people usually think they have the whole time in the whole world to perform their task. In addition, procrastination can affect your self-esteem and can make you put off a task and can also make you less critical. It has also been established that procrastinators experience greater regret and have more sleep issues compared to those who don't procrastinate. Procrastination can also bring about health problems, increased stress, and poorer performance. Recognizing procrastination. If you are the type that switches focus a lot, and likes putting things off indefinitely, you are probably a procrastinator. However, if you are delaying an important task for a good reason, you are not a procrastinator. You may be procrastinating because you're trying to reprioritize your workload. If you are a procrastinator, there are other ways to figure that out. If you are fond of reading emails over and over again, without making any concrete decision on what to do about them, then you are a procrastinator. If you are so fond of always waiting for the right time or wanting to be in the mood before tackling any problem, then you are a procrastinator. You also tend to procrastinate if you have started your high-priority task, then leave it to make coffee. If you have left some important items unattended on your to-do list without a strong reason, then you are a procrastinator. You are also likely to procrastinate when you fill your time with things people ask you to do, instead of spending time on yours. If your day is usually filled with low-priority tasks, you are likely to procrastinate. You are likely to procrastinate if you leave important items on your to-do list for a long time. The reasons you procrastinate. You need to have a good understanding of what procrastinating is before you can begin to tackle it. For instance, if you like avoiding a task because you find it uninteresting or unpleasant, you can easily take some steps to kick away that unpleasant task for you to be able to focus on the one you find enjoyable. When you are not well organized, it could lead to procrastination. Check out someone who is organized and you will notice that such person doesn't procrastinate. They follow their schedule strictly. There are a lot of things that can help you to organize your deadlines and priorities effectively. Sometimes you can be organized and still be overwhelmed at the same time. One of the reasons could be that you bother too much about failing and doubt your ability to effectively carry out a task which makes you therefore seek succor in your comfort zone and put off the task. Some people still feel success will lead rush by request of taking more responsibilities, which makes them scared of success as much as failure. Perfectionists prefer avoiding a task that they feel their experience or skill is not sufficient to handle. It might interest you to also note that perfectionists are usually procrastinators. If you can't decide what to do, you will likely put off taking action in case you do the wrong thing. You must also note that making poor decisions also contributes to the major cause of procrastination. Adopting anti-procrastination strategies. Ensure that you adhere to the different strategies that will be provided below to give yourself the best chance of focusing and succeeding because habits will only stop when you make deliberate efforts to avoid them through strategies. You must also note that you can't break procrastination overnight as it is ingrained in our pattern of behavior. Studies have also shown that when you forgive yourself, it can help you feel positive about yourself. What this means is that you need to forgive yourself for procrastinating in the past. You can employ this strategy to help you avoid procrastinating. Be specific about the time you want to finish a work and ensure that you stay focused on it until you finish the task. You must acknowledge how good it feels when you complete the task. 
you may want to reward yourself with a treat, a slice of cake, or a coffee at your favorite coffee shop if you finish your task at the targeted period. So before you begin a task, promise to reward yourself when you finish at the stipulated time. It's also important to ask either a family member or a friend to always check up on you because pressure works. And it is the principle behind a self-help group. Some people don't have people to check up on them. If you are one of such, you can use an online tool like Procrastor to help monitor you. If you are in the habit of piling up tasks over the day, you will find the task overwhelming to implement. The best option will be to tackle the tasks as they arise. To also help you minimize distractions, you have to switch off the notifications of your mobile devices, as well as note whether you sit close to the television to avoid distractions. Every day your aim should be to eat an elephant beetle. This means you need to find a way to get off the task you find the least pleasurable, as early as possible before you move to your enjoyable task. The task you find enjoyable will serve as a reward for taking off the task you don't find pleasurable. When you adopt the phrase, I choose to, you will feel more in control of your project, which implies that you own a project. But the twist about it is that it can make you feel self-sabotaged and disempowered. But when you adopt another phrase or rephrase your internal dialogue to something like I have to or I need to, for example, it means that you just have to do it and you have no other option than to do it. You can combat procrastination by identifying the long-term benefit of completing your task. You can ask yourself if procrastinating is going to affect the end of the year bonus you are supposed to receive or your annual performance review. A study has revealed that impulsive people who are focused on short-term benefits and gains are more likely to procrastinate. If you always procrastinate because you find a task unpleasant, try focusing on the long-term benefits it will offer. Another approach you can employ to make a task enjoyable for you is to consider the consequences it will bear if you ignore it and its negative effects on your organizational goals, team, and yourself. For example, you need to question yourself. If I don't complete this job, what will happen? Or if I procrastinate this task, what will happen? Sometimes all you need to get going and complete a task is just a trial, even though you seem uninterested in a task. Just attempt it, as you may not find it as bad as you anticipated because, at times, we overestimate how unpleasant we would find a task, which sometimes turns out to be false. Looking at its relevance and meaning is a useful way to reframe how we view a task. This can even help to increase the value of the task to you and make it worthwhile while you are at it. Just like any other bad habit, it is possible to overcome procrastination. If you struggle with pulling through with tasks, attempt any of these tips listed below. The tasks you find most difficult should be done at the time you are most effective and focused. Identify the time you function at your optimal. Know whether you perform better in the morning, afternoon, or even at night. The most important thing is to tackle the hardest task at your peak. Become a pro at scheduling and project planning. There are many online tools you can use to help with your schedules plus plans, and consequently they can reduce your stress if you don't know where to start. When you have multiple or big projects at once, use Eisenhower's urgent important principle to prioritize your to-do list. This principle will enable you to be able to identify the activity that needs your attention now and the ones that can wait. Understand that a to-do list will merely prevent you from forgetting about those unpleasant and overwhelming tasks you don't want to do. Giving yourself a deadline to accomplish a task also works. It will keep you on track to achieving your goals. And this will mean that you won't want to procrastinate on any of your tasks or schedule. You, therefore, need to attach a deadline to your tasks. There are many apps online that can help you become more organized. You can look up time and task management apps to help remind and accomplish your tasks. Organize your tasks into smaller units and focus on them, rather than finishing them. If you are prone to delaying projects because you find them overwhelming, try breaking them down into manageable bits. You will feel less overwhelmed and more positive when you accomplish small wins, which will even make you look forward to a larger project. These small wins will give you a sense of accomplishment. Finally, if you think you're putting something off because you find it hard to decide, or you can't decide what action to take, go through these tips and help yourself to move forward. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.